All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we have an interesting video today. I don't think that sentence made sense. We have an interesting video. I want to talk about Jay Sean Tate. I want to talk about if he could ever become a superstar. Because I have a comparison that I want to use, and it's Julius Randle. All right, so Julius Randle, it kind of took Julius a little bit to get going in the NBA. I would say it wasn't until, well, first off, it wasn't until year four he was averaging 16 points, but it wasn't until year five when he first went to the Pelicans at 24 years old that he was averaging 20 points per game. Now, I see a lot of similarities with Jay Sean Tate's game just when I watch him. I see a ton of similarities. When you look at Jay Sean Tate on this season, he is averaging. Now, first off, Jay Sean Tate is a little old. He's 25 years old. He played all four years at Ohio State as a center, and then he played two years overseas in Australia. So, or I think one year was in Australia. One year might have been in Germany. 11 points per game this season, about a steal per game, two assists, five and a half rebounds. And you're looking at about 29% three-point shooting, 52% field goal percent shooting. The 11-5 and five is, is relatively good. He's played in 59 games. He started in 47 of those, averaging about 29 minutes per game. Now, I think Jay Sean Tate honestly could become a superstar and the reason or at the very least an all-star or just a good genuine star and the reason is because i look at julius randall well, julius randall on the season is averaging 24 10 and 6 this guy is an absolute monster now jay sean tate has shown he can pass the ball i know two assists isn't crazy i know five and a half rebounds isn't anything too crazy but this season julius randall he's taken more mid-range shots He's also taken a lot more threes. Last season was when he really developed a three-point shot or kind of appeared to have a three-point shot was last season. This season, it's much more developed. He's shooting 41% from three, career high. We all know Julius Randle's a great passer. He's averaging career high in points, assists, and he's just taking more jumpers in general. Five attempts from three per game as well. Before the season, much like what Jay Sean Tate is shooting this season right now, 29%, Julius Randle was a career 29% three-point shooter before this season. Isn't that crazy? He's also top 10 in ISO and post-up touches per game. They try to get his money one-on-one -on -one of opportunity. So you might have noticed even in these highlights, but you'll kind of notice this maybe next time you watch a Rockets game is a lot of them are just... Or even when you you'll notice this specifically when you watch Knicks games a lot mainly when you watch Randall a lot of the plays are just to get one-on-one -on -one opportunities and let Randall score the basket or generate an open bucket for somebody else and the same thing is with Jay Sean Tate a lot of the times but it's it's not as frequent as Julius Randall Julius Randall is like an immediate he's just an immediate force in the paint he's insane like he has insane talent all around and now that he's developed the three-point shot he's almost perfectly molded offensively jay sean tate his ability to finish around the rim is unbelievable especially for an nba rookie at his size and his height his height and his weight like it's crazy it's because he played four years of center at ohio state and it is translated a lot. He can get rebounds. He can score on a lot of players. LeBron, Anthony Davis even went after Gobert the other night. But Julius Randle, he was a good he was a good player. He's a good scorer. So I, I'm not trying to compare Julius Randle, you know, before he had a three point shot to Jay Sean Tate right now. But I do think Jay Sean Tate could get to Julius Randle's level, especially if he develops a three-point shot. Because Jay Sean Tate is getting better and better and better as the games go on. Defensively, this guy is like an absolute beast. In the last two weeks, he's averaging 12.5 points, six rebounds, three and a half assists, two steals. Very good numbers. 
So he's been getting better and better and better and better, especially since the All-Star break, especially since the trade deadline freed up a bunch of more minutes for Jay Sean Tate. And now he's looking at pretty solid, like 35 minutes on a good night. So I really think Jay Sean Tate could develop into a maybe a superstar is a stretch, but I could see a star very easily at 25 years old. He has a ton of time to grow. I mean, Christian Wood wasn't good until this year, really. Especially just statistically, he wasn't good until this year. He's 25 right now. So, Jay Sean Tate, he works so hard. He makes an immediate force when he steps onto the court that doesn't appear in the box score. But I guarantee you, if this guy works on a three-point shot, even just a little bit more mid-range shots to where you're consistent and you can consistently score in isolation i mean jay sean tate would become a star he would he would honestly become a star so i'm curious what you guys think about jay sean tate i'm curious if people like the julius randall comparison i don't know if that is a popular comparison i don't know if people use that or maybe that is one of his popular comparisons i have no idea but it was just something i kind of noticed watching the knicks game last night watching trying to do a jay sean tate video recently kind of pieced that together yesterday like huh especially the sydney highlights like i'll i i'm gonna try to rerun these highlights the basketball highlights the sydney uh, basketball highlights in the background because a lot of them if you watch them right now and then you watch julius randall highlights like they're so similar so Anyways, let me know what you think about this hypothetical. Can he become a star? Can he become a superstar, an all-star, whatever it is? Let me know down in the comments below. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button. I'll see you guys there.